This is a carpet set for the Triumph TR4, not to be confused with the later TR4 IRS or TR4A as it's known. This is purely for the TR4 version. This is a red deluxe wool carpet set and it's for a right hand drive car. I'll explain the differences. Um, and we have edged it in matador red leather cloth edging to match the customer's main trim. So we have other shades of red, both the carpet and the edging. What we tend to try and do is match the edging to the main trim color. So this is matador red, which is almost like a sort of blood red, darker red. So starting at the front of the car, all of these pieces are cut on our CNC machine, which I'm stood on. Um, and then they are edged and sewn where applicable. So not all of the pieces are edged, as you'll see. I'll go over it at the end. So this piece at the front here is for the archway of the front of the car where the gearbox tunnel comes out. So this is on the vertical basically, and it's sewn together as you can see. Moving back, you have the main clutch front gearbox cover there. So it's two pieces sewn together that curves and bends over, and you have a ripped rubber heel pad sewn onto the driver's side. So this is a right-hand drive car, therefore it's on the right-hand side of this cover here, allowing the driver to rest his left foot on there. Further back, we have the main gear lever housing carpet. So obviously the gear stick comes out of the center hole here. And then again, further back, we have the prop shaft cover, uh, cover rear prop shaft cover at the back of the car. Then just behind this, you have the rear shelf lower bulkhead piece. So it's a one piece, it folds and bends over the rear shelf elements. Uh, so this part here is obviously for the um, back of the gearbox tunnel where it mounts in at the back and that's on the vertical as, as it were. Then it bends around the corner, goes up onto the rear shelf and this cutaway here is for the diff hump, the differential hump at the back of the car. You then get a separate piece of carpet there which sits over the diff hump. At the front again, if we go down the right side, it's a mirror image for the left side. You have the A-post footwell panels. So these are on the vertical in the car like that. And they're the kickboards on the right side, outside of the car, basically in front of the door panels. And again, you have a ribbed rubber heel pad on the driver's side uh, of that as standard. We've actually trimmed these onto the boards as well. So you can see there the curvature of the front door as it would sit in the footwell area. So you get a pair of those. That's the right hand one, left hand one over there. You then have the front floor carpet. So this is the right hand front floor carpet and the left hand front floor carpet. Again, obviously ribbed hill pads on the driver's side only. This cutaway here, this is for the uh, speedometer cable that goes into the side of the gearbox. It's not for the handbrake. Obviously the handbrake was mounted to the right side of the gearbox on these cars. Uh, but it's often confused that this is for the handbrake. That would put the position of the uh, carpet out of place. This is for the speedometer. It kind of juts in and goes down there, basically. The handbrake goes roughly around there, basically. And all you need to do is just cut a small little hole and let the, the chrome handbrake stick through there. So uh, just be mindful of that. Then you have the rear floors. So these are the bits directly underneath the seats that the seat runners bolts all the way through. Obviously the cutaway here is for the wheel, where the wheel arch juts down. And you get the sill carpets here as well. So the sills, they run all the way back. They have the cutaway there where the B post starts coming in and these fold round and attach onto the bodywork of the car, creating a nice neat finish around like that, as you can see. Again, we would match that color and the color of this uh, to the binding edging on there. So you get pairs of all of those as well. With regard to the heel pads, uh, we can heel pad both sides if you prefer. Like I say, we standardly just do it on the driver's side, but we can do it on both sides if you prefer. Just let us know, it's not a problem. It's also worth noting on the TR4s, originally they didn't really have any carpets in the front floor areas. They had very large rubber uh, floor mats basically, but uh, we supply carpets, it's much nicer and we put a rather large heel pad on them to uh, allow uh, for wear and tear as it were. Um, and with regard to edging, um, you'll see not all the pieces are red. So these rear floor carpets, they're all the way around. Front floors are, apart from the front edge here, as this sort of bends up into the footwell area. Uh, you're not gonna see that top edge there. 
The general principle on binding is that any raw edge, i.e. hasn't got any binding on it, is generally not on show and therefore doesn't matter. So the principle of that being, say this prop shaft piece here, when it's in the car, you've got this back edge is bound, as is the front edge there. Left and right edges are not because they will sit underneath the adjacent edges of these rear floor carpets and therefore uh, none of it will be on show. So it will flow nice and smoothly between. What we tend to do as well is we've made some of these pieces wider than they need to be because it allows you to tuck and fold them underneath, allowing for a seamless finish basically. These cars were yeah, uh, muddled together, shall we say, back in the 60s. And so any things like these that we've seen over the years that can help improve the fits of them, uh, we have done. Uh, my father, John, has owned several of these TRs over the years, so we're well versed in the fit of these carpets. See our website for more details.